Hi, I'm Kimberly. Welcome to Combat Boot Camp Surge. We have an amazing workout planned for you today. Hanging out with me today to give you that great workout, we've got Holly and we've got Dana. So if you're ready, we're ready, we're just going to march it out. Right foot, it's right. First things first, we've got to get the blood flowing. So pick those feet up, pump the arms a little bit. Beautiful job. Want a strong start, straight to a strong end. Take it to a step touch, right, left. Take it right and left. First things first, start to lower your profile by bending the knees, hinge forward slightly at the hips. Draw the core in right away. I want you to keep that core engaged the entire time. Now with the arms, reach and pull right here. We gotta reach and pull. As you reach and pull, think about focusing on the upper back, pulling the arms back behind you, squeezing shoulder blades together, opening up the shoulders, lengthening the chest. Beautiful job. Reach and pull, four more. It's four, three, now tap those toes out wide, reach overhead, left, right, up. Back to the step touch, right here, up. Beautiful, wide toe tap, right here. Big steps, now hold this toe tap, a little squat in between, down, up. Big reach, I want you to reach for the ceiling. Up, up, and every time you reach, pick the rib cage up, off the hip, lengthen through the side of the body. Now take that reach, instead of diagonal, straight overhead. Straight up, down, up, four, and three. Now hands to the thighs, spinal stretch, down. Round it up. Do that again right here. Take it down. Ah. Two more times, releasing the lower back as you come up. Full body workout plan today. Slide the right foot in. Step touch. Reach. Wide toe taps. Up, up. Reach straight to the ceiling. Spinal stretch. Take it down. Up. Do it again right here. Ah. Release as you come up. Two more. One more time, here we go, take it down, slide the right foot in, put it all together, step, touch, reach. Wide toe tap, reach overhead, diagonal, now straight up, spinal stretch, down. One more time, just like that, down. Slide in, step, touch, reach and pull. Tap it out, reach overhead, straight up, spinal stretch, down. One more time, just like that. Slide in right, step, touch, go. And reach overhead right here, take it up. Straight up, and a spinal stretch, I need two of them. One more time, slide the right foot in, just step, touch, nicely done. Take your step, touch, and start to turn it to the right. Start to lead with the left hip driving forward. Beautiful, we're gonna reach pull here. Now pick that left knee up right here. So the left knee is gonna come up toward the diagonal of the room that you're in. Slight lean back with a core engaged, four. Three, now we're gonna take that knee and we're gonna circle it around to wake that left hip up. Circle that knee around, bring it around. And again, just a little easy crescent chamber kick. Just in case we might throw some kicks up today. Two more. Take it back to the knee, knee up. Drive with the knee. Slight lean back, core engaged. Beautiful. Four more, here's four, up. And three, two. Take it back to the step touch, right here. Nice. Now repeat our knee for two. Step touch and hold, fancy switch. Take this turn now to the left side. Start to lead with the right hip. And the right knee pops up. Core engaged, slight lean back. We're just waking that right hip up now. I need four more here. Your knee's coming straight up to the diagonal of the room. Up, up. Now, crescent chamber, open that hip up, bring it around. There we go. If you want to let out a little awe, go ahead. Four more, ladies, how we doing? Doing good? Warming up a bit, two more. Now back to the knee, knee to the corner. Well done, two more. And step touch right here, hold. Awesome job, double knee, two knees. Step touch, wide toe taps here. Give me a little reach overhead, left and right, reach up. Now as you reach up, circle back right here. Ah. Just in case, we may use the upper body a bit, shoulders specifically, we wanna wake them up as well. Now take the tap side to side away, hold center. Up, up, circling back, lengthening through the chest, lengthening through the front.
front of the shoulder. Four. And three. Two. Let's go for two more spinal stretches right here. Down. Up. One more time. Slide the right foot in. Just march it out. Hopefully you've got your bar. If not, get it in hand quickly. We're going to pick the bar up. Overhand grip both sides. Take a little bit wider than the shoulders. Bring the bar right into the hip. Shoulders back and squat. Take it down. Sitting back through the hips. Weight through the heels. Now as you come up, bring the bar up to the collarbone right here. Back down. Beautiful. Four more right here. It's four. Three. Stay long through the torso. Sit way back. Now hold it up. Collarbone. Just squat. At the top of the squat. How about a little shoulder press? Here. Take it up. Four more. It's here. Four. And get ready to move. Slide the right foot in. Step touch. I need you to take an overhand grip right. Underhand grip left. Tap out wide. Bar goes at the belly button. Settle the feet in. Slide that right foot back in. Shoulders back. Step out right. Right again. As you step out right, let the bar start to come right around the corner of the hip. Right around the corner of the hip. As you start to rotate through the torso, start to bring the left hip with you. Come up on the left toe. So now you'll find yourself starting to lunge into the right leg. That's a good thing. Get into that lunge. Legs are working. Now we're going to be moving into what we know as a cross body strike. The beautiful thing about this strike is that you get a lot of power by pushing from the left arm, but also pulling back right. So push, pull. Picture a target to the side and strike. Strike. There you go. Lunge into it. Don't be shy. I need eight more just like that. Eight. Stay strong. Come on. Stepping in every time. Stepping in that right foot. Lunge, step in. There you go. You're going to take a break from the bar. Just step out right. Step out left. Step out right. Step out left. Now left only. Step out left. We're not going to lunge this time. We're going to stay here, but bend the knees. Shifting the weight. This bar now is going to come up to the collarbone. And we'll start to bring that right hip forward. Forward. Pull back and push, same time. So now instead of striking low, we're gonna stay high. Aim for the head. I asked my class one time what the target was. It was a caramel macchiato. So if that works for anybody, it's the head of that caramel macchiato. Strike, core engage, hit. Stepping the left foot in every time. All we have to do coming up is put those two together. So we're going to start with the footing first, then add the bar. Hold the bar steady. Step out right, lunge. Step out left. Step out right. Left. Let's add the bar. Cross body strike. Head. Strike. Cross. Strike. Head. Now, I don't know how much room you have to play with here, but if you want to add a little bit of intensity and you've got some room to mold, let's do that. We strike. Up. Strike. Strike. As you strike to the right, get low. Come on. Down. We are going to add on one more piece to this. One more like this. Now just step out right. Slow sweep. Down. Sweep. So a cross strike right. Head strike left. And sweep two times. Ready or not. Cross and head strike, go. Up, sweep, two. Cross strike, head, sweep. Again, cross head. Breathe through it. Can you get a little lower as you sweep? Strike. Sweep. We're having a good time. Again, strike. Sweep. One more, one more. Sweep. Feet together. Squat, overhand grip. How are we doing? Nice. Keeping the feet together this time. As you come up from the squat, 
pick the bar up, collarbone. Bring it back down. Hold it up this time, just squat. It's a narrow squat, you might not go as deep, that's okay, weight through the heels. Sit back through the hips and shoulder press. Keep the bar down, step out left. Left again, lower the bar to the belly. Underhand grip right. Hands wider than shoulders, you'll have more control that way. As you step out, bar goes around the left hip. Right there. Start to come up on the right toe, pivot. Lunge into the left leg. So as you step out, you're gonna want that left toe to point to the side. Lunge into it and step in every time. Step in. Start to strike. Push right, pull back left. Push, pull. Make it a strike, come on. This is going to be the most stress relieving therapy you can imagine if you play your cards right. It's a pretty aggressive workout. So let out all your stress right here. Bar gets a break, just step out right. Hold, do it again. Combining those two, step out left lunge. Right to the left and lunge. Right, now right only, right only. Bar comes up to the collarbone. Start to bring the left hip forward. Now we're striking head. Bend in the knees, but we're staying tall. Instead of lunging deep into that right leg, stay tall. Head shot. Start to slide that right foot in. Slide it in every time. That way we can switch right back to the other side, because here we go. Put those two together. Feet only, step left, step right, step left, step right. Bring the bar into it, strike, 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 and strike. Four more just like that, hit, and hit. You want more intensity, you've got room for it, add a hop. Now we've got that extra intensity going, let's do four more, come on. If you don't have room to hop, just get lower in the lunge. Swing harder on the bar, but with control. Two more. With the right tip ready, sweep, step in. Sweep again. Ah. So it's the two sweeps on the end, remember? Four more, here's four. Whole combination coming at you. Two strikes, cross and head, here we go. Cross. Head, sweep, cross, strike, head, strike, sweep, yes, do that again, sweep, oh, the sweep's the good part, right, the sweep is kind of the part you earn, ah, oh, I need two more, here we go, sweep, Shoulders getting a little tired yet? No. Sweep. Step feet together. Overhand grip, squat. Woo! Nice job, everybody. They look good, don't they? Tip goes down. Heart rate's kind of here. We're gonna push it to here for just about a minute or so. Fair enough? Good. Pulse down. Now what I want you to do, as we start picking the feet up off the ground, which is an option, you don't have to, I'm gonna ask you to push the bar down into the floor. Power squat, here we go, go wide. There you go. Push, push that bar every time. Push, push, nice. Now feet together, side, side. Side, side on the bar. Tempo, tempo. Let the bar help you balance. Wide, narrow. Ski mogul, side, side, slow. Tempo. Wide, narrow. Step, touch, right. Incredible job. Catch your breath. All right, we're ready to go. Make sure you've got your bar in hand. Pick it up. Overhand grip, both sides, shoulders back. Step back, right, left, right, and left. 
good job. I'm going to teach you two blocks, and we're going to throw one strike in just for good measure. First things first, though, we want to stabilize the base. So feet, you want them to be about hip width apart, even when you step back. Keep them hip width apart, as though you're standing on train tracks. Slight turn out of that toe, right through the hip, just a natural turn out. And then you want to keep weight on both legs, so don't shift back, sit into it. This is a front high block. We're going to start to lift the bar to the front. So the foot's going one way, bar's going the other. Start right at maybe chest level. And now you're going to make it as big as you can control it. We're going up. And up. It's a slight lean back through the torso. So the core's got to engage to help stabilize you here, taking that bar overhead. Now remember with this bar, you want maybe six, nine pounds at the most. If you don't have a weighted bar, you could use a wooden dowel broomstick, whatever you get your hands on. You could stretch out a towel for that matter. Just move with us. So this is your front high block. Let's do eight more. Here we go. Eight, seven. You got it. Come on. Keep the core tight and engaged. I know the shoulders might start getting a little tired. Hang in there. You're in control. Keep it. Pull the bar down. Step out right side. Left side. Well done. So now, Instead of the front high block, we're going to take that block to the side. And instead of parallel to the ground, we're going to go vertical. So step right, bar goes left. Vertical. Other side. I want you to look the direction of the bar. Side. And side. <laughs> the bar between you and your target. Core engaged. So your hips are square to the front. And you're rotating through the rib cage. Through the rib cage. Rotate. Keep it working. Two more. Bar takes a break. Step straight back right. To the side left. Straight back. Side. So we're going to put those two together. It'll be a front high block and a side vertical to the right side. Ready? Front high block. Side vertical right. Up high. Side. High block. Side. Kind of sit into it every time through the hips. And remember, you're only raising that bar as high as what you feel you can control. If today your body's telling you to keep a chest level, then do that. It's okay. Maybe go a little higher tomorrow. We'll see you again tomorrow, right? Two more. One more time. Now listen up. The bar takes a break. Step forward right. Back, step left. So here what I want you to do is just kind of stick it. Just stick it, bring the bar to the collarbone. This is the one strike we're going to do in this combination. So as you come forward with the foot, tip of the bar comes forward too. And we're going to start to strike, head strike. And hit, there it is. Eight, core stays tight, stay connected. Come on. We are going to add the front high block. So let's get the footing first. Step back right. Step forward left. Back right. Forward left. Front high block. Head strike. Left. Front high block. Step right. Come on forward. There it is. Block. And strike. Block. Strike. I need two more. The bar is going to take a break again. We're going to have footing first. Put them all together. Step back right. Step left side. Step back right. Step forward left. Do it again. Step back right. Side left. Back right. Forward left. Now start to sink into it. We're back. Side. Back. Forward with the bar. High block. Vertical block. High block. Head strike. Hit it. There you go. Take it up. And side. Up. And head strike. High block. Side block. High block. And head strike. Two more. There you go. Block, give me that strike. One more time. Just squat down up right here. Take it down. Tip goes down. Face the feet out wide, toes forward, weight through the heels. 
Start to let the tip of the bar draw between the feet. Start to hinge forward, long torso. Lower the top end of the bar towards the floor. Two more, drop the bar. Just squat. Back up a bit, get to the end of the bar. Fast feet, come forward, come forward. Take it back. Now power squat, come up, take it up. Those fast feet go back. Power squat. Fast feet back, two jacks on the end. Get to the end, squat, come up. Fast feet go back, two jacks. Four more just like that, come on up. Back, jacks, come on up. Take it back, go back. Two jacks, two more, come on, make them good. Heart rate climbing, take it back. Arms and shoulders been working hard. Come on, legs now. Fast feet. Jacks at the end of the bar, squat. How are we doing? Are we breathing? Are we breathing heavy? Reach for the bar, keep the head up. Keep the head up, reach a little lower, sit in deep. Right here, pick up the end of the bar. Just squat. Come forward a bit again if you like. If you need more room, just squat. What do you say we go to the other side? Pick the bar up, slide in left, step back. Back right. Woo! I got my heart jumping. We're ready to go into the blocks. Not gonna take long to break them down this time. So step into it. Back left. Right, front and high block, show me. Just four more. Take a break from the bar, step out to the side, left, right. Sit into it, soft knees, side vertical block, right first. Whichever way, that foot steps, bar goes the other way when you're blocking. Four more. Come on. Now step back left, right. Awesome. Final step is going to be the head strike. So step forward right here, left, right. Show me how you stick it. Bar to the collarbone. Head strike. Hit. Hit. So we're going to put that high block together with the side block, then high block together with a head strike and then all four go together. Ready? Ready or not, here we go. Hup, one more. High block, step back left. There you go, there you go. Side. We're just going the other way this time. Sit into it. Make sure you feel grounded. Make sure you are in control of that bar. Bring out your inner control freak here, come on. Ha. No problem for us, right ladies? There you go, there you go. Listen up now. High block, high block. Step more right, head shot. High block. Head. That's it. Up. And hit. Yes. Woo! Two more. One more. Can we put it all together? Front, high block. Up. Look side. Straight up. Control. Head strike. Just four more. Just four, right? Only four. Come on, shoulders. You've got this. There you go. I need two more. Come on. Side. High block. Head right side. Come on. Last time. Up, up. Nice. Feet together, squat. What do you think, one more surge? One more surge. Tip down. Feet walk out wide. Squat. Tip of the bar goes between the legs. Lower down, leave the bar on the floor. Squat down up. Shoulder roll at the top, loosen up the shoulders a bit. Walk to the back of the bar as you squat. Nice. Jumping jacks and hold. 
How's it going? We doing good? Good. Feet together, jump rope. Now side side to the right left. There you go. Now you have an option, stay at the back of the bar or come with us. We're gonna travel up the bar, just watch your footing. Take it back, go back. Eyes on the bar, eyes on the bar. Now they're gonna stay back, I'm coming up. You can stay back with Holly and Dana if you like or come with me, but watch your footing. Up again, come on. And back we go. Can we go again? Come on. Take it back. Go back. Just toe taps. Uh oh. Runaway bar. Right at the end of the bar. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Jumping jack. Eight, seven. Come on. Make it big. Make it big. This is the finale. Four, three, Fast feet, take it down. Eight. Four. Three. Jump rope last time. Nice. Woo! -hoo. Four. Three. Just march it out. What an amazing job. Well done. Well done, well done. Nice. All right, the hard work is done. Hopefully. You worked hard, I know we did. Got quite a sweat, you guys still sweating a bit? Yeah, so now it's time to bring the body back down, heart rate down, let that sweat start to dry, lengthen the muscles, elongate them back to the natural position and start the recovery process. So shoulders, we're gonna roll back. And again, roll back. Still standing nice and tall, don't let that posture fall on you. Stay tall, roll back. Beautiful, start to pick the elbows up. Full arm. And around again. Start to squat into it now and lift up. Up. And again. Two more. Sit into the hips. I know all you want right now is more squatting, right? Now let's squat, hands to the thighs, round down, spinal stretch. Just come halfway up, just halfway up, release the low back. Back down. Round up. As you come down, straight back, flatten the back, lengthen through the crown of the head. Take it down. Round up. Two more. Down. And up. One more time. Hold the lunge here or squat here. We're gonna lunge. Left foot steps back. You've got options. Bring the torso up. Hands on the thighs. That's option one. Focusing on just pressing through the left hip towards the ground. Hips, knees, toes are all forward. You can always take the option. In fact, I'm gonna have Dana take the option of dropping that left knee down and focus on lengthening through the hip flexors and quadriceps on the left side. Holly and I are gonna stay up on that back toe, straightening out that leg. Now take hands on either side of the right foot. Now I'm gonna have Holly stay right there. Final option, walk the right foot out just a bit. Hands come to the inside of the right foot and just let the torso fall just inside of that right thigh. Once you're here, let your head hang for just a few moments, relax. Let's pick the head up, slide the left foot in, slide the weight back to the left leg and sit into the hips. Rocking up onto that right heel, reach out, grab the right heel, gently pull in, stay long through the torso. Inhale, find length. And exhale, lower the chest one inch. Inhale and lower. Feel that hamstring stretch one more time. Inhale. And now drop the toe, round down. Release the back as you round up. Inhale. And step the feet together as you exhale. Shoulders roll back. And the elbows, full arm, sit into it, drop through the hips, and up, stay low, hands to the thighs, round up, halfway, back down, lengthen through the crown of the head, up, releasing the lower back, just two more, one more time. Stay low in the squat. This time we move into the lunge with the left foot forward, right foot steps back. 
So find that spacing once again, up tall through the torso. Dana's gonna show you dropping that back knee. We're gonna stay up on our toes, Holly and I. But we're gonna start to hinge forward. Remember, you could stay here if you like. Just focus on pressing through that right hip as low as you comfortably can. We're gonna drop down fingertips on each side of the left foot. Holly's gonna hang out there. I'm just gonna walk the left foot out a bit and bring my hands inside of that left foot. And then drop as low as what's comfortable, making sure you're getting a good stretch through both hips and let your head hang. All right, the head's come up. We drag the back foot in. Shift the weight back to that right leg. Sit into it, rocking up on the left heel. Reach out, grab the left toes, pull them in gently to get a little calf stretch. Potentially did some jumping today if you took it straight through. So lengthen through those calves. Inhale, exhale, sink deep. Inhale, exhale a little deeper. One more time. Drop the toe, round up. Round up. Inhale. As you exhale, step the feet together. Roll right shoulder back. Left shoulder back. Right arm comes up, drops back, tricep stretch. Lengthen through the back of the upper arm and switch sides. Open out to the side, sink down through the hips. Just round the back halfway, release the low back. Lengthen once again and come up nice and tall. Shoulders roll back, elbows pick up. Full arm, circle round. Let's take it back down to the elbows. Adjust the shoulders. One more time, shoulder roll, loosen it up. Inhale, one time, hands come heart center. Exhale, hands back to heart center, and have a beautiful day. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.